And you think of a bibby, you think of a tart. Not but that's not how we roll tonight. Not tonight, brain test. And what a lovely day for a rain test it is. Our test subject today is the Highlander Hawk bivy bag. And with rain scheduled to run through the evening and into the night, we should get some good results. So let's brave the rains and get our shelter set up. Done. So here's some information for you. Hawk is developed from Abtex, which Highlander states makes it breathable, waterproof, as well as wind resistant. It weighs in at a grand total of 925 grams. It has fully taped seams, waterproof zips, and a hydrostatic head rating of 5,000 millimeters. Has a pack size of 37 centimeters by 12 centimeters. And when laid out, it opens up to 250 centimeters by 90 centimeters by 50 centimeters. The bag comes in only one color, and that's olive green. So what I do like about this bivy is the face plates. Now this one's on here. I can take this off, change it when it's good weather and put this bug net on to replace this. And when the weather turns, you switch it up and you put the rain cover on. That is a nice touch. And there's some wire in the outer edge. So theoretically speaking, you can mold the wire and have the fabric off of your face. But there is a flaw to this. And it's a pretty big flaw when you talk about rain. Right here, there is a hole and it's not a small hole either. This could be problematic. Of course, the faceplate rain cover could cause some issues with condensation, but we'll find out in the morning if the Highlander Hawk does not fail before then. Ultimately, if it does fail, we'll retreat under the basher with the OEX Bush Pro Bivy. Dinner rolls and coffee. It's never all bad. So it's been a couple of hours since we laid out the Highlander Hawk bivy bag and it's been a continuous drizzle since that wet rain. So let's take a peek inside and see what we're dealing with. From the outside, it's all good. Puddling has developed results. So we have water, I'm not sure where that's from though. If it was from when I opened the bag or not, that is the problem.
and water droplets on the sleeping bag also. Here, there's some water. Potential problems. The inside looks good. We'll zip it back up and monitor the progress. Now I thought that would look better than it does, but still, mashed potatoes, beef, gravy, sweet corn. Everything a growing boy needs. So it's been raining ever so slightly every now and again, but for the most part, it's all drizzled. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to crawl into the bag. But before we do that, we're gonna take a look and see what the damage is. So that hole was problematic. Uh, the edge of my pillow here is wet. And we have a little small puddle down here. Yeah. So apart from that, everything else appears to be dry. Let's take a look down the bottom. So the only problem that we've come across so far is that hole, which is just obvious. But we'll see, we'll see when we wake up in the morning. I'm gonna crawl in. Now in the bag, it was a bit of a kerfuffle getting in here. I'm gonna have to also deflate my pillow a bit because wow, it's, it's a little cramped. The uh, wire support in the face plates don't do much to hold the fabric off your face. But yeah, this is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Test knives. It's good. It's good. I'm gonna go ahead and deflate my pillow a bit so. I can have some breathing room and uh, I'm gonna call it a night. So I'll see you guys in the morning.
Northern people. How did we sleep? I slept surprisingly bad. Which makes me torn right down the middle of the Highlander Hawk. Bivy bag, 100%, 50-50. There are pros and there are cons. So let's go over the list of negatives first. Number one, obviously there's a massive hole in the top of the bivy. Now come rain or shine, with the, with the rain cover, rain is going to get in. And with the bug net, bugs are going to get in. Somewhat defeats the purpose just a little. Number two, keeping on the topic of the face plates, the wire support that's supposed to keep the fabric of your face does not. And that's annoying. As you saw last night, I had to deflate my pillow quite considerably to not have my face stuck against the fabric. And even then, it did drape down on me. Number three, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to seal up once you're inside. Get, to get in, it's not bad at all, but once you're inside with the two zips, hard work. I'm pulling the zips, pulling the zips, then I have to pull it together, pull the zips, and then limited visibility, obviously, when you have this fabric right against your face, it's hard to see. A kerfuffle to zip it back up. It's also not the most compact. Well, on to the positives. Highlander said the Hawk was breathable, waterproof, and wind resistant. And apart from the massive hole in the top, it's all of those things. No water ever got into the bag anywhere else. I think the first time we opened it, I was a bit clumsy and some of the water from the outside of the bag managed to get in. Because when we went in there at bedtime, it was dry. There wasn't any condensation whatsoever, not even down the foot end of the bag. Surprise me, number two. It was warm, really warm. I only had a summer bag in there and the temperature got down low enough that you could see your breath, but I was never once cold. And honestly, that's the only two positives I can think of. But they are big positives because that's what you want out of a bivy bag. You want it to be breathable, waterproof, and wind resistant. It hits the nail on the head with each one of them, apart from the big hole in the top. And now we're gonna get packed away. We'll call it a day and I'll see you on the next one. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already yet, but you really want to, then please subscribe. Thank you for watching. As always, it's been emotional and I'll see you on the next one.